Devin here with Real Steel Fabrications. We have not made a video in two weeks because you can see we've just had nasty weather here in Missouri and all across the United States. I'm sure you guys back at whatever state you're in, you've experienced record low temperatures, just absolutely freezing. In the shop, it doesn't have heat, but a fireplace, and we were not about to warm up the shop for two hours and sit out there in like 10 degree heat. I mean, yeah, it'd just absolutely be freezing, but I'm gonna catch you up to speed on where the truck is here. My dad's doing a little bit of body work, and yeah, then we're gonna hopefully get the paint here soon. I'm getting rain on the camera. Hope you guys can see me, my pretty face. Let's check out what my dad's doing though. What you doing? <laughs> With the thermostat? Yeah. Five dollars? Five thousand. Racing carburetor straight from the Chinas. Oh, pretty bad. Much nicer. Not. Oh yeah, lots. Oh yeah. Is that one of those 30 cent gas filters? Fuel filter? Yeah. Was it? Rock Auto had them for like 37 cents. I really figured out what to do there. Now well, I gotta hold this for the next couple days until I get it going a little bit With the prices of gas that right there's about a dollar fifty on the ground all right today we're gonna fire this thing up we think we don't got too much gas right now but we're gonna run the gas station dump some gas in here and see if it'll fire up there's no reason it shouldn't fire up because the only thing we did is take the motor apart to paint it and then put it back together and so it should start right but it probably won't we'll see you gonna put a red ground wire on it? You gonna hook that up backwards? Got the old deep cycle on her. We'll turn over. Ooh! The only dodge starters do that <laughs> after. Shoot, dang, it's ready to fire up. Gonna blow flames? I bet she starts right up. Hook the battery up. Sure. Battery's gonna fall once the thing starts up and all the horsepower starts shaking her. Turn that 
the lower motor off. What is that? Squirting it out. Fuel filter didn't change, but it squirted it through here. It just did. Well, I told you to wash the fuel filter. No I'm mulching it. You're squirting it out of this hose, but yeah, not the fuel, the fuel filter. filter filling up yet. Oh, it's bubbling. It's doing something, but a little bit of nothing. It won't be 1,000% it ain't. Yeah, I'll see what it does. None. Oh! It's still pretty quiet. Even with it being a straight pipe. Still doesn't look like a fuel pumps. Kicking on. I'll watch it. Something's dripping out of the back of the motor. What? The, the tranny butts up to the motor. Dripping from somewhere. Up under there. Well, I need a bottle so I can feed it some fuel, but I don't have any out here. Carburetor cleaner. Want to try the carburetor cleaner? <laughs> yeah. It starts. Thank you in here. Whew. 
Not even really that loud. <laughs> For being just straight pipe right there. there. Is that filter filled up? Or filled? No, not at all. Well, it's empty. So that shows you can start them with the carburetor cleaner. Old, old truck fire up and you wanted to come see? Huh? Yeah, Bob? You know you're losing your hair, right, buddy? Here, come smell in the shop. Come on. Yeah. It smells good in here. What do you think? What do you think about that? Huh? That's a good looking ride. Huh? Smoky. You don't want to come in here. You're going to get fumigated. What do you think about the truck, Bob? Huh? What do you think about it? Huh? That's a pretty slick looking ride, huh? Was it loud? Did it wake you up? Huh? Yeah? He doesn't have much to say today, I guess. Well, alrighty. The 318's kind of alive. Kind of. Well, that's going to wrap this video up.